nose tackle is not a position that is heavily valued the way that I believe it should be. You need a big man in the middle of your defense who can stuff the run at a high level. That is so important to a 3-4 scheme, and yet good nose tackles seem to fall in the draft year in and year out. This year, everyone loves Texas nose tackle to Vondre Sweat, myself included. But there is another really solid nose tackle in this class who I think some people are sleeping on, and that is Texas A&M defensive tackle McKinley Jackson. A guy who has been a very solid run stuffer for the Aggies and is built like an absolute truck. Where should he be selected in the 2024 NFL Draft? That is what we will be discussing in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys want to see me talk about in a future video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at McKinley Jackson. When you look at nose tackles, you really can't look at their numbers on paper. Especially with McKinley Jackson, who felt like he was used in more a rotational role for Texas A&M. He finished the season in 2022 with 11 hurries, 2 hits, and 1 sack. His 2023 season wasn't as productive either, as he finished with 8 hurries, 2 hits, and 4 sacks on the year. Despite not having incredible numbers, Jackson is a guy who I'm a pretty big fan of, and I think he could have a very solid NFL career. McKinley Jackson is a behemoth of a man. Weighing in at 6'1", 331, Jackson has some freakish size for the defensive tackle position. He has great weight, but his length is crazy as well, as he has 80 inch arms and he has an insane build for a defensive tackle. The even scarier part about Jackson is his athletic abilities. He has an explosive first step, and he tested out really well at the combine. He had a 1.78 second 10 yard split, which for his size is absolutely ridiculous. Jackson also has unbelievable strength for the position. He had the strength to take on double teams, but in one-on-one -on -one matchups, it just looked like he was pushing offensive linemen to the ground like they were ragdolls. He was able to push the pocket and get into the backfield to make life more difficult for the quarterback, and his strength is one of the most impressive aspects of his game. As a run defender, I was very impressed with what Jackson showed as well. He shot the gaps well, and he played with a lot of leverage. He would use his strength and his length he was able to bring down running backs at a high level and close run lanes. I think he is one of the better run defending defensive linemen in this draft class, and I love the upside that he has in that role. The big issue with Jackson is going to be his pass rushing. Jackson's hands get stagnant at times. He doesn't really know how to leverage himself and counter offensive linemen's hands. He has a nice spin move that he showed from time to time, but other than that, he was really lacking in pass rush moves, and he really struggled to disengage with blockers. I think he can get better, and he's still pretty raw, I just haven't seen it yet from him. Jackson also played a bit off balanced in 2023, which is interesting, because it wasn't something I saw on the tape in 2022. But his 2023 season, he seemed to be out of control at times, and ended up on the ground more times than you would like to see. Even though I believe he primarily is a nose tackle in the NFL, you have to wonder about his production. He is way more athletic and has way more abilities as a pass rusher than you would imagine, and when you see the sack numbers and you watch him play, something doesn't quite add up, and it is a bit concerning. I think a good defensive line coach can help him reach his potential, but very limited sack numbers over his career, it is very interesting to say the least. I love McKinley Jackson and his upside, but there are still some question marks that I have about him as a prospect. I think he can develop into a very viable starter in the league, but in a deep defensive tackle class, and I don't see his versatility as much as I see it in other players, he is my number 11 defensive tackle in the class. His upside is there, sure, but I have some questions about him and how he's going to develop in the NFL. I've said this numerous times throughout this video but I see Jackson as a run-stuffing nose tackle in the draft class. He's a great run defender, but he has the size profile, and he's a very good athlete. 
I think he's going to be a player who takes a couple years to really get starting roles, but I think his potential is sky high, and he could be a very good player in the NFL. My player comparison for McKinley Jackson is Cleveland Browns defensive tackle Dalvin Tomlinson. Both of them have freakish size, but had questions about their collegiate production and had some upside at the nose position. Tomlinson has been an underappreciated player in the NFL, and I think Jackson could play a very similar role. They're both good run defenders, both very good athletes, and have very similar size. McKinley Jackson is a behemoth, a freak athlete who has some elite run defending abilities and potential to be a star in the league has me incredibly intrigued. And ultimately, I believe that McKinley Jackson will be a fourth round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.